Hi, I'm Charlotte from Greenfall Motor Company and behind me here I have an Audi Q5 and a Mazda 660. Now these two are often positioned as competitors in the premium SUV market, so let's see how they really compare. Now let's start off talking about the prices. Now the Audi Q5 starts off at £47,400 with the top, range, top of the range edition, black edition, coming in at £52,500. Now over to the 660 which starts off at around £45,000 with the range topping Takumi coming in at just under £50,000. Now these prices are dependent on whether you want to add any of the additional packs or the sunroof extras and obviously that's going to add some more money to the price tag. So let's compare the exterior details of both these cars. At the front both have large black grills with LED headlights. However, what I like about the CX60 is that the lights extend into the grille for a classier design look. Both come with 18 inch alloy wheels as standard and rear privacy gas from the mid specifications. At the back, both have a rear spoiler, a dual exhaust and large tail lights, but the CX60 just looks like a bulkier, more impressive car. So let's talk about that luggage space in the back. Now, the boot capacity of both is quite similar, however the Q5 is slightly smaller with 550 litres, whereas the CX60 has 570 litres. Both have um, powered tailgate as standard and big storage pockets in the side to stop things rolling around. So let's talk about what's under the bonnet. Now today we're comparing the plug-in hybrid options of both, so we'll talk about that. Now with the CX60 you get a 2.5 litre petrol engine paired with a 17.8 kilowatt hour battery and together that puts out 327 horsepower with a 0-60 to time of 5.8 seconds. Now more impressive than the, the Q5 is the pure electric range. Now in the 660 you get 39 miles which is great and more than what you need for the average commute. Now, with the Audi Q5, you get a 2-litre petrol engine paired with a 14.1 kilowatt hour battery. However, this puts out 500 newton meters of torque with a combined horsepower output of 367. Both cars are automatic, being plug-in hybrids. The Audi Q5 has a 7-speed automatic transition, whereas the CX60 has an 8-speed. However, like I mentioned before, the electric range, pure electric range, of the Audi Q5 is slightly less at just 26 miles. On the inside, the Mazda 660 definitely feels like a more pleasant environment, with black leather heated and ventilated seats and a heated steering wheel, a large central 12.3 inch screen, wireless phone charging and wireless carplay, reversing camera and the option for a 360 degree camera. Both have a 12.3 inch digital dashboard and selectable drives modes that depend on your journey. The Q5 has a smaller 10.1 inch screen, but also comes with CarPlay, a reversing camera, heated seats and Audi navigation system. So to conclude, what would I choose? I think the Mazda 660 is a great option in this market if you're looking for a premium SUV. In terms of design, I think it's a better looking car. It looks and feels as if it's been crafted both inside and out. And I much prefer sitting on the inside of the 660 than the Q5. In terms of the drive, they're quite similar, both comfortable and both feel like a nice drive on the road. However, the hybrid system of the Mazda CX-60 is slightly better, especially with that pure electric range being slightly higher, means you can get a bit further. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like these videos.